Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Andy. I uh, just want to go over some things with you guys today as far as lowering my extreme spread and standard deviation numbers. Uh, I want to show you guys some of the tools that I use to get that done. Um, and uh, just go through some of the process to um, uh, lower those uh, extreme spread and standard deviation numbers. Okay, um, uh, what I've got here is I'm just going to show you a couple dies that are of my favorite here. Um, that helps get the job done. Um, what I've got here is the Redding 308. Now this is a 308 case. These are 38 cases here. Uh, this is a Redding uh, full length Type S uh, resizing die here that I use. Um, now it is it does have the bushing insert, but I don't use the bushing because for some reason um, it it you know causes a lot of uh, case run out in my in my cases. Um, and over here, what we have is the Leap Precision Collet die. Um, it's probably one of the most valuable, less expensive uh, tools that I use um, to get very concentric ammunition. And I'll talk about those a little later on. Set those aside here. Um, so what I've got here is about 100 uh, Lapua cases, uh, 308 Winchester. Um, and uh, what I've noticed is, now what I did was... I annealed these, this, this brass uh, yesterday, and what I did was I put it on uh, about four hours in the uh, vibratory tumbler, and um, as you can see, I don't know if you can really see that, but there's a little carbon line that is around the case necks right there, and, um, and also inside of the case mouths themselves, there is some uh, 750 degree temper lock that didn't completely melt inside of there in those case necks and uh, I want to go ahead and get those out the reason for it there's two reasons uh, for one uh, to lower the standard deviation and extreme spread numbers uh, by when you seat the uh, the bullet inside the case and you want to have perfect neck tension and if you have a buildup of carbon and or temper lack or any side of anything inside of those case necks it can um, influence higher standard deviation and extreme spread numbers um, because you don't have uh, uniform case neck uh, tension on those those case necks. So I want to get those out, okay? So, and also, like I said, I want to get rid of that carbon line. And also, number two, the second reason is when I use this collet die, uh, if you have too much buildup of either Tempelac or anything such as carbon inside of the case necks itself, once you put this uh, case inside of the... Um, uh, the Lee Collet die and you size those necks down because this is just sizes the necks down um, What's happening is if you got too much build up on, on you know one side what can happen it can influence run out case run out in those case necks and you want those case necks to be as Concentric as possible so that when you see the bullet in there those bullets are as concentric as, as you can get them so that when you chamber this uh, casing into the chamber itself of the uh, the rifle um the uh, the bullet it, bullet is as concentric um, oh, I'm sorry as straight in line with the axes of the bore itself um, so that you can you know your your accuracy is there and you know um, also it helps lower those extreme spreads so all right so this is the process what I have here is a D wall drill okay and what I've also got here is the shank to the Hornaday uh, neck turning tool. Uh, along with the neural and the number one shell holder for the 30 caliber uh, casings, okay? So what I do is I stick this bad boy on here, give it a little spin, all right, to lock that case in. Now it's locked in. So then I have um, uh, steel wool. I've got triple lot steel wool here. And I'm going to go ahead and remove that, that uh, uh, carbon line on the outside of the case neck itself, okay? So I go ahead and get, give it a little spin here, get that thing nice and clean. Get it nice and clean. Oh, it kind of came off there. So, go ahead and get that back on there. Okay, get it nice and clean. All right. Now that neck is pretty clean. I mean, I don't see any carbon line on there at all. So now what I'm going to do is I've got this uh, Lee. I'm sorry, it's a Lyman uh, flash hole uniformer. And without the uniformer tool on there, I've got a 30 caliber. Um, uh, brass cleaning tip on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clean out those case necks uh, with this tool. So go ahead and stick that on there. Get a little bit of a couple of stems here. Go in and out about two or three times here. 
and I don't know if you can really tell uh, the video quality is not that great here I'm using my phone <laughs> so anyways uh, I don't know if you can really see it but anyways those those necks are really really nice and clean down to pretty much bare metal there uh, now my personal opinion like I said that's going to lower your extreme spread and standard deviation numbers and it's also going to give you um, um, you're just going to get all that carbon out of there so that when you, uh, like I said earlier in the video, when you go ahead and put that, uh, that casing through the, uh, um, uh, the die here, the next size and die, uh, everything is going to come out as concentric as possible. Okay. All right. And, uh, that's my process. I'm going to continue on with the rest of these, uh, casings. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, all right. Appreciate it.